One of the comments in the previous video was to create a spawn menu, so that's what I did. But before we get to that, I want to go over a few things that I added and upgraded from all the previous scripts. I created a nice little script that adds some life to our cubes. And to top it off, I made it so you can ride them like a magic carpet. The movement script has been updated to enable strafing, which is a huge feature in Source Engine. Part of the reason why the movement feels so good. So, of course, I'm going to port it over. We can bunny hop and we can surf. Plus, the added mechanic of being able to grab a cube and ride it like a magic carpet ride. I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's either Ubre or Uber, but you suggested to create a spawn menu, so that's what I did. At the left, we have our tags, and at the right, you basically just click a prop and it spawns it right in front of you. So the first thing that I added to the spawn menu, of course, were the primitives, the capsule, the cube, cylinder, the mirror, and sphere. Actually, mirror isn't exactly a primitive, but it is kind of cool. Let me show you what this mirror does. You can spawn it, and as you see, it is literally just a mirror. It uh, shows a reflection. I thought this was really cool. It's built into Unity, and it was super simple to add. As I was playing around with this, I stood perfectly still and spawned just a ton of spheres. And as you can see, they spawn in the perfect positions so that they just stack up and they don't collapse. So I got a little creative with this and I started wondering if I could pick up the entire stack without it falling. So I froze, whoops, well, I failed that. And then I went to Clara.io, which is a wonderful website for downloading free models. And I just added a good variety of stuff. Let me just spawn everything so you can see what we got. Whoops. I fell through the world. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, as soon as these guys stop screaming. Settle down over there. Okay, let's try this again. Spawn. Okay, okay, let's try this a third time. I'm gonna spawn this dragon. Don't okay, the dragon has spawned without breaking the game. So what was happening was the dragon model itself had a camera inside of it, so when that camera spawned, it overrode the, the default camera, and that's what we were seeing. It totally broke the game view. We got a little toy train model. We've got an, uh, we got our fizz gun, of course. We have our MP5K. We have the 67 Shelby Mustang. Let's throw that into oblivion. Why are there three suns in the sky? I feel like a kid playing with a bunch of toys. Like I've got a little toy box and I pulled them all out of the box and just made a mess in my room. Probably my favorite prop out of all of them is the little Mario, except he doesn't stand on his own, so I gotta help him a little bit. Ooh. If you guys have any ideas for features that you wanna see added, Put it in the comments, maybe I'll add it. Maybe I'll add all of your suggestions. Doesn't matter what it is, it can be something ridiculous that you've never seen before in a game. It can be something simple, it don't matter. Of course, the code for this project is available on GitHub. There is a link in the description. This is an open source project. Thanks for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Every thumbs up, every comment supports the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm grow my channel. So any support you guys can give, I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.